Hey folks, welcome back. All right, we got the 2015 Ford F-250 in here, 6.2 liter gasoline engine. Uh, let's fire this thing up and show you what kind of noise it's making, because uh, it's bad. Um, and then here just a little bit, you're probably curious of what this thing does, because it kind of looks like something that would uh, be going out in the Australian outback or somewhere out in middle of Africa or some sort of thing where they, you know, or maybe even something on Jurassic Park. <laughs> but anyways, we'll, we'll get to that here in a little bit once we get started. But let's get to the point of the video and, and show you what this thing sounds like. So anyways, we got it get in here got a hundred and sixty nine thousand there on the clock Uh, yeah, not good. Um, it's got oil pressure when it's when it starts and runs. Um, the oil looks pretty good just based off the dipstick. I haven't drained anything out of it yet, uh, but it really does that that kind of swishing sound. Kind of reminds me of maybe like it uh, might have dropped an intake valve, um, which I don't know how. You know, usually dropping the valve is a catastrophic thing for the piston and the cylinder head and the, even the cylinder itself. I don't know, but that's just what it sounds like. Um, because the compression of the piston going up, you can hear it in the intake, you know, just that, that sound. Um, anyways, yeah, it's not running very good. Um, so anyways, we're going to, uh, let's have a look, see, uh, well, I'm going to show you the codes that it has in it. All right, so these are, oops, sorry about that light there, our code, so we got a misfire on cylinder one, five, four, seven, and eight. We've also got, you know, misfire detected on startup. We also got uh, your knock sensor going crazy with that uh, P06B6. Uh, um, combustion vibration sensor basically I mean it's your knock sensor saying hey something's freaking going on here not good um, okay so I dug up the codes here not just because that's gonna fix our problem we got going on here but it mostly just I wanted to point in the right direction you know if, if all of the cylinders on this side were the ones that were missing well then I'd pull this valve cover off first or I would obvi obviously I'd pull this side off first if that were the case um, from the service manual, um, we basically got cylinders, I believe this is right, this is backwards from what I think Ford used to do. They always used to have this one be number one and it used to go one, two, three, four, but now this engine goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we've got basically, we got misses all over the place. Okay, so my drawing sucks, but if this is to be the uh, front of the engine and we'll just make a little line for the crankshaft pulley you know we've got cylinders one and four missing and we got cylinders five seven and eight that logged codes um so basically i don't know i'm gonna start with this side i guess just because um <laughs> there's more cylinders on that side but i don't know i really can't tell by the sound of it um as to which which side to go with first but we're gonna end up probably pulling both sides anyhow so doesn't really matter but um okay so we got the valve cover off over here so we can look in here and um everything looks uh really good on this side so then i went ahead and decided to uh pull the passenger side one off and look what we found got us a broken uh broken valve spring and I don't know if this is going to have done any other damage or not. Um, if it, you know, I mean, the valve stem is still, I don't know how well this is going to come out on the camera, but I mean, the valve is still there. 
um, I can't get the spring out of there until I take the that whole rail off of there but um, I'm not going to do that quite yet but um, find out if you know there's some way to you know pump the cylinder full of air or something like that and and um, see if we can you know get that valve um, deal to or that you know replace that that valve spring um, not a hundred percent sure I don't know if it bent the valve or any of that kind of stuff as of yet um, but you know I don't see anything else wrong I would have sure sound, sounded like this thing had a uh, intake deal deal like that but maybe that was just the exhaust um, but I got to look at all the rest of these more closely but um, you know that's kind of what you're looking for is obviously you can see if you can see anything and obviously we got this so you know with that thing down like it is you know that valve is open so that's going to get compression going in the exhaust so that is going to sound like I mean maybe the sound I was hearing was maybe the sound of the compression going through the exhaust rather than the, than the um, uh, intake but who knows I don't know there could be another one broken on here too I don't know I haven't really looked at all of them but um, that's what we're uh, that's what we're after we're gonna stop this video at least for now we'll do a follow-up video with this um, anyways people that are curious probably about what this truck does um, it's not really anything totally well I guess it is something special something you don't see every day um, anyways dairy cows need to have their feet trimmed um, I don't know once or twice a year or something like that uh, so basically what this does is um, they use this and they drive out to the dairies or whatever and they um, this t thing shoot tilts down and they they walk in here and then they're strapped and whatnot and hooks around their their bellies or whatnot and they uh, lift and they tilt them over there on their sides and they do their feet trim and everything and that's that's what it does so if anybody was just curious about that how they set it up I don't know I've never actually seen it done but apparently they must you know obviously need to have protection if they're going out in the corral or the way they set it up I don't know so there's panels and stuff all around these things it's pretty beefed up kind of cool looking up in the front part anyways but you know that's uh that's what this thing does so we'll have an update video and in, in the in the near future um see if we can get this thing going because um you know there's a you get a truck like this that's that's all set up special you know stuff like this i mean they're you know they're expensive um you know it was it's probably dang near with this truck probably a little over a hundred thousand or whatever to get this truck you know if it was brand new and and get it all set up this way um, you know with 169,000 miles on it. That's not a whole lot um, And hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. It's just that valve um, um, Hopefully it's just that uh, Valve spring and then we can <laughs> maybe replace it. I don't know so Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Oh Well not quite done yet. So anyways, I went and fished out all the pieces that I could see um I don't know where that little tiny deal must have been with that keeper or something but you can see I found one of the keepers I found this hat deal you know which has got some uh, some damage on there you know from beating around or did something like that it was kind of part way down the side of the cylinder head um, keeper I'm surprised I, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what happened to the other one it's pretty much gone down in the engine who knows if we'll be able to find it or if it's gonna do other damage or what you can see this thing broke in like three pieces um anyhow um uh the other thing too is uh with um the valve So I can move the valve. I have to take a pair of pliers though to move it up and down. So I think the valve is bent, um, which is a bummer because if you're able to move that thing up and down, it don't look like the stem is bent. You know, I can move it, uh, take a pair of needle nose vice grips and stick on there um, and move it, you know, like, like uh, 
round like this and it don't seem like the stem is bent it is totally centered where it's supposed to be so it's probably the bottom part of the valve like where the face must have maybe hit the piston or something i don't know these engines that well so i don't know what type of tolerances you know but but dropping a valve in there isn't totally good now i did pull the spark plug and went and um uh in there with a scope but my scope for some reason i don't know it's it's new and i've not been able to figure out if the led lights go brighter or if it just sucks i don't know um but yeah, like i said there's going to be an update to this this video and um when we figure out which way we're going to go with this because i was hoping we'd be able to um replace just that valve valve spring and actually I looked up there's a there is a video um, a good Ford tech uh, power stroke tech with a rod he does where he replaces a valve spring you know but um, in our case I don't think it's gonna work we're probably gonna have to remove this cylinder head and go that route if they're wanting to fix this I don't know but I got to get some quotes going but I think that's the way it's gonna have to be if I can't move that valve up and down freely uh, it ain't gonna work right so because it ain't gonna close all the way during normal running and stuff so anyways we'll put this video out for now and anyways thanks for watching